Hello and welcome to P&G Technologies. We're a supplier of custom natural gas and propane kits for generators. Today we're going to be showing you the Champion, the 9000 uh, starting, uh, 7250 running. This is the inverter and uh, we'll show you the natural gas steps on it and the propane steps and we'll go ahead and get started on it. Okay, first what we're going to do is go ahead and remove what we need to on the back of the air cleaner. Let's go ahead and pull the breather hose off here. Just kind of tuck it up in there. And we'll remove the gas vent from there. Just kind of tuck it back. And then you have your vibration bracket back here. It's an 8 millimeter. Go ahead and remove that. See if we can grab it with my fingers now. There we go. Let's unscrew that there. And we'll show you the next steps. All right, now that we've got everything removed in the back, we'll go ahead and pop our two clips to remove the cover. Just kind of keep all your hardware together. That way you know. Alrighty, and then what we're going to do is a little plastic that keeps the air cleaner from sucking in. So take that and then we'll go ahead and remove these two here going to the gasoline carb. These are 10 millimeter. Go ahead and get them off there. One more here. Now that should be able to just pull right off. Let's go ahead and set that to the side and we'll show you the next steps. Okay, now what we got to do is when we install our adapter on here, it pulls the air cleaner away. So what I have to do is when you take this gasket off, be careful you don't tear it. Pull the gasoline carb away. And then what I do, get you a set of vice grips. You can either do this or double nut it from the front, whatever you want. Um, I use the vice grips on the back, just lock down good on them. You're going to turn them out until you get enough clearance, which is right around a quarter of an inch. And there's, there's plenty of meat back in here. So we'll back these out here, do that, and then we'll show you the uh, steps of hooking the adapter up. All right, now that we've got the studs backed out, enough for our clearance. I've took it on and off a couple times just to make sure. Um, put their existing gasket back on here. You'll put our adapter on. We'll supply you with a gasket here. Okay. And then go ahead and get your cover lined up. Okay. And then we'll get those nuts started back on here. Got that. Now we'll go ahead and tighten those down. You don't got to over torque these. There's hardly any vibration here. Um, just lock them down. There you go. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and you got your breather back in here. I got to see which way that went. Like it went that way. There we go. And put their filter back in here. This one back in. And we'll go ahead and get the cover back on. All right, that stuff's as easy as that. That makes it nice, that's for sure. Alrighty, that's that step. We'll go ahead and show you the rest. Okay, now that we've got the front all installed, we'll go ahead and hook everything up we had here. 
Okay, now on the vibration bracket, obviously there's gonna be a little gap in between here. So what I do is it's a 15, you're gonna go back to the bracket that's down by the engine that's holding this bracket on, just loosen it up. It'll pull forward on you. And then you can go ahead and get that back in there. What I do is tighten this down first. I know it's hard to see in there. There's a lot of stuff in the way, but all I'm doing is screwing the bolt back in on the back of the air cleaner for the vibration. Again, that was an eight. Okay, you got that. Go ahead and tighten this bolt back down here. good on that go ahead and hook your line up here and that is that step fairly easy so we'll go ahead and we'll get our regulator mounted and hook up our fuel to this and we'll run this here shortly all right now what we're going to do is go ahead and mount the regulator again this will all be set up for you um, this is set up for the natural gas you'd run your natural gas right to this uh, when you do your propane there'll be a bushing that you'll install on this and it'll run over to the high pressure regulator. So what we're gonna do is mount this right here, okay? Now, what I did is from the corner of the frame, we're gonna kind of come off the bottom of this sticker. You gotta have clearance for this primer button doesn't hit that as you mount that, because you don't want that depressed in, because that's only just to give you a quick start. Hit it one or two seconds. That'll shoot the fuel through here and into the carburetor adapter, give you a quicker start. So what I did, you're gonna come over from the corner of the frame here and mark an inch and a half. Okay, again, I'm just going above the sticker, maybe about a quarter of an inch. Get you a punch, that way it doesn't, the drill bit doesn't wobble on you. And then from there, we're gonna to wanna to mark over five and three quarters of an inch from our mark there. Okay, so we'll come over five, three quarters, make our mark here, go ahead and, okay, now be careful when you drill through this, if your, your gas tank is back here, so if you punch through, you got a chance to take it and hit that gas tank. Uh, you do have a rubber hose coming through this, so be careful with that. Um, we'll go ahead, I drill these out five sixteenths. Again, it's real thin. show you the next step all right now that we've got them drilled out we'll supply you the hardware let's go ahead and get you a flat washer on the front of each one kind of slide them through hold them with your hand we'll put a flat washer and a lock washer on the back of them This has got some room under it. I like this one. This is a really nice unit too. I like this generator, especially being the inverter and it's big enough to give you enough power to run most of what you're gonna put at it, you know. All right, let's get that started. Huh. I'm stubborn on me here. All right, there it goes. Okay, let's try this one more time. Here. Get that back on there and the lock 
dishwasher. All right. There we go. And these are seven sixteenths on here, so let's go ahead and tighten them down. That's that step there. We'll go ahead and show you the next step. All right, now the last step before we go ahead and get this hooked up, we'll go ahead and hook up our hose here. Okay, I don't clamp it down yet until I put this one on. And be careful because you can crack this. Um, you want to be real ginger at it. Okay, go ahead and get them tightened down. Go ahead and get this one on. There we go. And that's it. I mean, it's as easy as that. This is, again, a really nice unit. So we'll go ahead and get her ready to fire up here. We'll show you them steps. Okay, we're going to show you the steps on the propane. Now, with the propane, this is that bushing I was telling you about. So when you go to natural gas, you would remove this bushing, this setup, because you will not use this. This is the high pressure regulator, which takes tank pressure down for this unit to be able to handle the pressures. So let's go ahead and hook up a propane hose here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get her hooked up to the bottle. These are seven eighths, but you can use a crescent wrench on them. Alrighty, and we'll turn, make sure our ball valve's off in this position. Turn this on. Go ahead, turn your fuel on. Now again, on the back of this regulator, like I told you, there's a primer button. That'll get the fuel to shoot into the carburetor quicker for you. So this is your main adjustment. We'll preset these here as close as we can. Every situation is a little bit different. That's why there's an adjustment. But we'll set them in is lean, out is rich. So basically coming in, we'll close off fuel. Like bringing it out, we'll open up more fuel. So let's go ahead and make sure this is on. You don't want to use any choke. Uh, if it, it does have the electric, you can override it just by holding your hand on it. Um, let's go ahead and hit the button. See if we can get her to go. Hit that button. That shows you both steps for the Champion 9,000 watts starting, 7,250 watts running. This is the inverter. Um, if you're interested in purchasing this kit, you can go to our website at pngtechnologies.com or we can be reached at 734-992-2648. I hope this video helps. This is a very nice unit. I really like this one out of the ones I've did so far. So we appreciate it very much. If you like it, please hit the like button down below.